Well, it's been about a year. Well, we are back at Buffalo Mountain. So we're gonna be taking the exact same route we did last time. Taking the red trail has more of a gradual climb over to the yellow trail. And the blue, I just remember being a little bit more steep. So we'll head probably back the blue trail. I do remember this being a little overgrown last time too, but now with the leaves starting to die down, it looks like it won't be nearly as bad. And just like our own property, there are bear, black bear around this area. So just be alert and bring bear spray if you have it just in case. Probably won't need it, but it's always good to be over prepared. We'll see how well we do this time. Hiking in the Blue Ridge Mountains for over a year now. We'll see how much better shape we are. We're doing pretty good in the Smokies and the Smokies are quite a bit higher elevation than this. So <laughs> I think we'll be just fine. So the road coming up here is a little interesting. It's a one lane. There are quite a few places where you can pull off, but Sometimes you do have to back up and let someone go to one of the old pull-offs and let someone around you. But parking lot was almost full and it's only about 10.30 in the morning. So get here early or get here late. Yeah. It's not too late. There's <laughs> only like eight spots and yeah. you can't park along the side. So you just kind of have to leave, I guess, or wait for someone else, mm -hmm. which might be a while. You kind of see the mountains off there in the distance a little bit better than last time. Yeah. Still quite a few leaves up here. Maybe next time we hike this, we'll come in the winter, assuming this road's still open during the winter, we don't really know, and check out some of these areas because I bet you could see all of that very well through there. So the elevation here at Buffalo Mountain in Virginia, I think is 3,500 something feet. I just recently bought a shirt from Floyd that had the exact elevation, so I'll have to go reference that shirt. Are you talking about <laughs> uh, where we started or where will we end at the top? Where we end? That it was like 3,900. 3,900? 3, yeah. I thought it was 35. Maybe it is 39. Huh? We'll see who's right. Yeah, you can see a bit better through the GoPro now. So last year we actually met Gypsies at Heart on this trail. Just happened to meet some other full-time RVers. Yeah, it turns out they're really cool people. We have a lot of similar interests. They aren't on YouTube, but definitely go check out their Instagram account. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. Just made it to the first switchback. They have these cables here. I'm not sure why. I mean, it was just as steep down there. What maybe do you think? Maybe What's so you don't make a shortcut through. Maybe. Really starting to open up over here. Love it. Keep working our way up? Yep. Okay. So we just got a new wood stove for the property yesterday. 305 pounds. Guess who lifted half of it? <laughs> My legs are a little bit sore from <laughs> squ like squatting basically, 150 pounds. <laughs> yeah, she, neither of us were prepared to lift that much, but luckily we do have a, we put the bush hog on like an, a furniture, furniture mover. So we were able to lift the wood stove onto the furniture mover, but we had to lift it up a couple times. And the tractor helped us unload it from the truck. So could have been worse. So it appears those wires are just around the corner, so it probably just indicates where the trail turns. So people don't get lost in the woods. Probably more helpful during the winter time. Still on our second switch back here. Nice gradual climb, nothing too intense. Just hit the second switch back on our way up. Is this the third? One, two, yeah, I guess this is third. So we made it up to the Barron's Loop, which will take us up to the top. It's only 0.5 miles if you take the blue trail. I think the red trail is probably a little bit longer because you do. 0.9. Yeah, 0.9. So about twice as long because they smooth it out a little bit longer, for, easier for you. We're gonna shed some layers and start making our way up the rest. We almost made it up. Be ready for some views. And we made it, guys. I don't think this is the peak yet. I'm pretty close to it. Here's a view of the other side.
I do want you to stay on the path though, so you don't disturb the vegetation up here. It is cool how bold it is up here compared to other mountaintops. Pretty rocky. Right, I think I'm officially on the peak. Give you a little panorama here. Pretty awesome. So if you're sneaky, you can find this little trail that actually goes down the side over here. Gotta do a little scrambling. That'll take us over to this other part of the loop. I think we skipped this last time. Pretty sweet. I need to find some new words to describe my views. Neato. Nice. Wonderful. Fantastic. Oh, look at those red, red berries over here. Mountain ash. Snack time, water time? I think so. Now that we've hiked the area a bit more, we are more familiar with the area. And you can actually see, I can't really see on my screen right now because it's bright. Pile of Mountains off to the right over there where it has like a little knob on top. Then Hanging Rock State Park is over there on the left side. So it's pretty cool being able to see that all the way over here. Well, guys, this probably was kind of a shorter video today, but we'll still take you down the Blue Trail. Show you that again in the fall time. Might have some more views off to the north, but we'll see. Let's get heading down. Yeah, so this view you can actually see all three mountains that we're aware of. Pilot Mountain, Hanging Rock State Park. Then you can actually see the Bull Mountain there in Virginia over there. So I don't know if you can see Mount Rogers. It's a little bit of a hazy day, so you can't see too far off in the distance, but I think Mount Rogers is off us off that way and that's the tallest peak in Virginia. Yeah you can already see not very well with the GoPro or when my hands in the way but you can see pretty far off into the distance compared to last time we hiked down this so maybe in a few months we'll try to come back here and check it out again. There's still quite a few leaves up on these trees but you can definitely see a little bit further through. I don't think we'll be able to show you too many views though unless it really opens up in a couple areas. GoPro is pretty cool in most aspects, but yeah, it'd be cool to be able to zoom off in specific areas like over there's cool. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. We're thinking about getting a camera that Deanna can both use for her food photography, and we can take for some more epic shots on the mountains, or just zoom up and kind of get that blurry background effect too on some close-ups. Some point, those cameras are quite expensive. So I don't think I reported the weather yet, but I think today it's supposed to be probably in the upper 60s around this area. So it's pretty nice. Pretty good for hiking weather. Still a little warm for those that don't like to sweat at all, but it's, it's a really nice day. Well guys, I think that about wraps up this hike. We're, I can see the road down there, so we're almost there. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at DNSAdventures.com. Nice and loud. <laughs> it's windy. And, and as always, adventure on. Yeah, here's the size of the parking lot. You can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think you might be able to fit a couple more in there. Yeah. If everyone parked in the right spots, you could probably fit a couple more in there. If you're the first one here, line up with the back there because they actually have numbers for each parking spot. All right, see you guys in the next one. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.